we are looking at some more of the Celebration Black Series reveals, to be honest with you. I've been away, <laughs> I had a day off from YouTube, had some sleeps, and they keep revealing more stuff. So I just thought I'd do another little quick comparison. But this time, I've actually got some of the figures here. They're bringing out a new line of the archive, and we've got Force Awakens Han Solo. We have Chewbacca from A New Hope, and we have Tarkin from A New Hope, and Bosch from Return of the Jedi, as yet which is a character that I still need to get on the shelf, so I'm really excited to have that one. So I just thought I'll bring some of the characters here. You can see we can do a little bit of side-by-side -side comparison to what these new ones are coming out. And to be honest, a lot of the archive times, most of the time it is exactly the same figure, uh, and they just apply the new sort of face tech sort of uh, app application that they put on the faces just to bring the characters up a little bit more. So I think the main one that's probably going to get away with it is the Han Solo that we have here. Um, on here, you just basically got the old style painting on there, but you can actually see the face sculpt is at a really good Harrison Ford likeness, and obviously he's got brown hair. So I think just slightly, just actually whiting this one's hair, uh, just normally I'll be happy with the figure. I, I won't be replacing this one, but actually the figure is not a bad Harrison Ford likeness at all. So um, if you are into the Force Awakens and you need a hand solo, it's actually a pretty good figure to be honest. Next up, there is a Chewbacca. Uh, this one here, though, I have repainted. I have um, re put over the top of it, but it's this sculpt with the open mouth for Chewbacca. Uh, so I've actually put more applications here in the face and put on the brown. And actually, looking at the Hasbro one as well, this one is normally like an off browny chocolate colour. And I think they have actually put a few more browner, darker tones into Chewbacca, which he really needs. So, yeah, in all, it's a really nice figure, really good Chewbacca. Obviously, the articulation isn't that great for a Chewie, but to be honest, it doesn't look too bad. So, if you need a Chewbacca, it's probably the best one that's out there. And a really good figure as well from the actual line as well is Tarkin. And um, I think this one had a re-release probably about a year ago. So if you haven't got that one, it's definitely a must on your Star Wars shelf, you know, from A New Hope. So we've got the face sculpt there. This one actually has the face tech and everything on there as well. So it'll be just a re-release of this figure. But again, it's just got the standard issue Imperial um, kind of top and all that on there, you know, his uh, uniform, etc. So I don't think there'll be any change in the actual figure at all. But um, nonetheless, it is a still a good figure. And it comes with the interrogation droid, which is a fantastic piece just to put on your shelf as well. Uh, and already the paint applications are right on there. So I'd imagine it's just going to be a repackage and out you go. And the last in the archive line that I haven't got is Bosch. And um, yeah, I can't wait for this figure. Really cool. I mean, it'd be a normal 23 99 figure rather than going out there and ex like spending loads on it. She looks great, looks really detailed. I do think she needs probably an upgrade just to bring her into a bit. She needs a bit of weathering and bits on there, but I can't wait for this figure. I absolutely love this outfit and I love Princess Leia in this one. So um, yeah, looking really good. Thermal detonator, got the um, staff gun slash thing, everything on there. So um, yeah, looking really good, can't wait for it. And um, yeah, another good sort of um, release of the archive line here. Other figures that have been revealed is a gaming greats uh, scout trooper but with a shield and a grief cargo from series 2 mandalorian so the gaming great one i think is a bit of a cheap out, cop out i can't even see any difference at all from this um, scout trooper apart from that he has a shield uh, and that's it i don't know if the weapon's slightly different but it's definitely a miss for me but uh, if you're a you know fallen order kind of uh, collector then definitely it's one for you but for me it's slightly just a little bit out of it and then we've got the grief cargo season two which is a lot better costume than this one this costume was a little bit of a miss for me to be honest with you it's very bland very brown and just a little bit kind of um just a bit samey all over but the new one with it now is that kind of sort of like leader marshal mayor kind of guy of the uh, the town and we've got all that nice kind of looking uh, extra parts over his body and it, now he's got a beard and looks a little bit more like Carl Revers as well so um, yeah really looking forward to that figure and um, it'll be definitely an improvement on this one although it's not really one to run out there and grab I think it might be a bit of a a peg warmer in my in my eyes but last but no means least i haven't actually got any of these figures because these are brand new ones out we have clone wars mall and Cl well attack of the clones ayla secure fantastic absolutely figures that i've been really waiting for can't wait to get 
Darth Maul looks absolutely sensational. The actual images of him, he looks all in proportion, the face sculpt, everything on there, just his lightsaber, the legs, wow, looks fantastic. Can't wait for this one. And then Ayla Secure, looking really good. I do think she needs a few extra kind of paint applications on there to get rid of all that kind of one samey color brown. I'm sure she has different shades and stuff in the top, but can't wait. And actually having a Twi'lek on the shelf looks sensational. It'll be another Jedi of the Jedi Masters to add to that. So I can't wait for that one. So that's it. We're all up to date now. I think until they bring out some more kind of exclusives or say anything else over this weekend we shall see so thank you for joining me on this one it's a very short one but just to bring you more news and hopefully i might keep bringing these ones out these kind of news ones because uh it keeps me in the loop as well so thank you so much you can join me on instagram you can uh all in the description down below you can subscribe ding the bell like the video and i'll see you next time take care bye